baby. Oh, and it feels good. A lot has changed since I left the internet, including the outfit choices. What do you think? Do I look good or do I look great? Your boy's a professional now, and I'm hoping I look great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you heard that right, though. I am now a professional real estate agent, but we'll get to that. A lot, like I said, a lot has changed, and that's what this video is for. Time for a massive update. Let's just begin right where we left off, which was your cousin leaving. Robert leaving? Wait, 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 I gotta give you one last. After Robert had left, I doubled down on my real estate course and actually completed it within that week. Come on, we all know you were alone for the first time and didn't like the emotions you were sitting with. I was so excited about it. Set a date for my test, my final exam to get my license. All right, I'm here at the testing center. Got my paperwork, my calculator. I think I'm ready. And lo and behold, I passed. Look at this. Oh my. Do you see that right there? Oh my God. I had passed on my first try. <laughs> I'm laughing because I did not expect it. That test was hard and I thought I failed. Oh my God. <laughs> Good job. But that didn't bring you the fulfillment you were looking for. But I needed a reason to celebrate. And so I packed up a bag and flew my buns to Florida. are getting worse. Running away is not gonna cure them. I spent an entire week with the family. Whoa, oh! <laughs> Got to hang out with my best friend and act like the giant man children that we are. And then it was all over. You were alone once again. But this time you realized how much worse you've actually gotten. So what did you do? I actually came back, picked up the kids, and immediately drove to California because not only was it Easter weekend, that Easter Sunday that week, it was also Timmy's birthday. Happy birthday to you. You ran back to your loved ones. Looking for that temporary love, care, and support that you so desperately wanted to feel. Getting to see the family was incredible because although it hadn't been very long since I last saw them, it had felt like forever. It felt like forever because it was all you could think about. It was the only thing helping you suppress the feeling of all your emotions. But you still weren't dealing with them. This is where things got a little interesting for me. When I came back to Utah, I uh, started experiencing some emotions. No, this was just the first time you couldn't contain your emotions. I noticed I wasn't in a very good spot mentally, and, and so... so you finally realized you had been lying to yourself the whole time. You weren't okay at all. That you weren't dealing with the root cause of the problems because you didn't even know how to. You didn't even really know what the problem was. Last year was a roller coaster for you. And having your cousin by your side was the much needed emotional crutch that, that helped you through the craziness. It made you feel loved and cared for in your everyday life. But eventually when she left, that support system was gone and you felt lost and alone. Sure, you had your little ones, but you had already felt like you let them down because of what happened. That you didn't even feel worthy of being a parent. That feeling of isolation, it hit you hard. And you spiraled into a really, really deep depression. I just don't know what happened. It started affecting everything in your life. So I'm not the most religious man, but I did go to church today, not only because a friend invited me out, I also want to find a feeling of belonging out here. I'm willing to do whatever it takes. My loneliness has gotten the best of me. Provides me so much comfort, so much joy. I truthfully miss them so much that even when they're gone, I still sleep here because it provides that feeling of um, being with them. <laughs> oh my god. I've been trying to force posit positivity for a while now. The thoughts took a pretty dark turn, and you couldn't escape that feeling of being a victim of your own life. 
because I've literally just been doing that, sitting, questioning everything, feeling like I'm in this dark, oh, like, place, man. And it, it, it's funny because I look around and I see color, but I've been feeling like I'm living through black and white. You began waking up in the middle of the night with this feeling of anxiety and panic, as if someone had told you you were about to lose a loved one. The pain was becoming overwhelming. You started considering leaving and moving to California to reinvent yourself, but you didn't. You couldn't bear the idea of potentially putting your little ones through the same pain you were going through, the same loneliness and same feeling of isolation. Feeling desperate, you finally reached out for some help. And just those 10 minutes of having someone over the phone to come for you helped a ton. Losing everything last year shattered your confidence and made you kept believing that you were a giant failure. You were constantly comparing yourself to the old you who was more successful and had it all figured out. And because of that, you hated your current self because you weren't living up to your past self. One day you realized that the root of your problem wasn't just being alone. It was the lack of self-love, confidence, and belief in yourself that made you not be able to stand your presence. You weren't happy with who you were. You knew you needed to change, and you weren't quite sure what that change needed to be, but you decided to dive right into real estate. But I'm trying to do this fast so that I can door knock and let all the neighbors know as well that we're doing an open house. Okay, so I'm here to do my first showing all alone. I'm excited we have two today. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I'm actually doing this. So. Yes, it was scary and challenging, but it gave you that glimmer of hope that you needed in order to believe in yourself again. And after seeing a little bit of success, I have my first closing today. Oh my gosh. You realize you weren't hopeless. Just got my kind of closing gift. And oh my goodness, I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> This is a hard video for me to make, and it was truthfully uncomfortable. I like making happy videos, and obviously this one wasn't, but I felt the need to make it so that I didn't feel like those emotions had power over me anymore. I wanted to get them out there, just let them be, and that way I could start being myself again. Like, carrying all that weight all alone for so long, it was, it was just heavy, and I was pretending to be somebody I wasn't, and it was, it was tough. I'm, I'm hoping that now I can just go back to being 100% authentic. I felt like I was holding things back and I hate it. I just love being an open book and I love just being me. And I couldn't be me with all these feelings. Glad I waited to tell everyone until I at least had most of it figured out. But now it's just back to getting to work on them. And like I said, I'm doing better, but still got a long ways to go. That's it. I'm rambling. That's it. Love you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.